For longer than she realized, she had been on the dark side of the moon, dark night of the soul. Had it been a decade, perhaps two, she wasn't sure. But as she walked to her spot and sat down, shoes off, feet in the grass and on the slightly damp earth, she realized light filter down, a butterfly in a dragonfly path. She had been doing this for far longer. Agoraphobia. That's what my doctor called it. Had her stuck in a moment that she felt as if she could not get out of. But this was illusion. The matrix the outside it called her back not to it called her to a home a home that she felt the pull in her heart and soul to but she had also never been before and that was at once ooh, it's a chamber. that was at once terrifying intriguing exciting Anxiety and insane. She had become the Joker and didn't even know it. Perhaps that's why she could more easily talk about things that didn't matter as much to her because she didn't realize she had forgotten what mattered and the words. The syllables, language, music, all of it, it brought back pieces of herself that she thought she had lost forever. <laughs> but she had it. She had it. And just when she was afraid that she had been mistaken, afraid that she must have misinterpreted. She received confirmation. You're where you're supposed to be. This does not last. Your mission, your life, your story, it's too important. Daughter, light bringer, it's time for you to speak not just told stories it's time for you to speak life, light, truth, life song into the world so as she sat in the meadow with the amazing Magnificent wonder all around her in this matrix and this reality that simultaneously simultaneously was and was not. She felt light, center of her crown, to her body, bring out all the dust through the bottom of her feet and the earth rooting down deep. This was not her home. It was never meant to be. She was her home and also there was a place out there beyond, probably beyond anything she had imagined. She was sure of it. So the dog barked in the distance. She stood up. She said, let's get back to work. <laughs>